My intention was realized was to become a researcher. I didn't think about a profession of a professor. So I worked as a scientific researcher and scientist and theoretical physicist for more than 14 years in Novosibirsk, in the Institute of Semiconductor Physics. And uh, the profession of a professor for me was looked always very difficult. And then at some moment we decided to come to the United States and I was invited here as a visiting professor for one year and uh, the person who invited me is Sergio Uloa and he really was supporting me. Because of him I am here. It was clear that uh, life of a professor is much more difficult than life of scientific researcher. When I start working here, basically I needed to work two times more maybe than I worked back in Russia because I needed to do teaching and research both. I work with uh, nanocrystals. Nanocrystals can be made of different materials and those are simply small pieces of uh, crystalline metal. They may be metals, maybe semiconductors or dielectrics. And my specialty is to study how these nanocrystals interact with light, with, uh, with light energy. I feel that uh, my research is indeed kind of uh, taking off a lot. My teaching style actually to, to give more demonstrations, even in some, in some courses where people traditionally don't make demonstrations, I do. For example, I teach thermal physics and uh, uh, I am a theoretical physicist, but I like demonstrations. Uh, also, I encourage students to ask questions. So my, my teaching style to interact with students. I had taken Dr. Gofroff's classes and I took him for thermal physics and he's a fantastic teacher. His class is always early, uh, I believe it's an 8.30 class, but it's one of the only 8.30 classes I've ever been in where you find students laughing throughout the period. Uh, in addition, he's just extremely intelligent and his ability and his excitement about the topic just makes you inspired and want to learn more. One of the benefits of the Distinguished Professor Award is that we can give a fellowship to one undergrad student. And uh, this is something really exciting and I think it's a really good idea. When I found out I received the Distinguished Professor Scholarship from Go Dr. Goveroff, I was ecstatic uh, to the point where I think I said thank you probably a hundred times. So it was a great honor and I was you know, very thankful that he thought of me. The way to receive this uh, uh, award of distinguished professor is just, in the beginning, better not to think about it and just work. <laughs> then maybe it will come. Because it, it is challenging award. Uh, uh, the university has so many strong professors. It's really challenging. I think it is both responsibility and uh, good feeling. I think I feel quite uh, happy and uh, maybe lucky. Sometimes people say we cannot predict the future, but in some way we can predict a little bit. <laughs> Maybe not, not, not totally, but to some extent we can predict. And uh, yeah, I could not predict that uh, I can uh, become a distinguished professor at American University. It was, uh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs>